What's up guys, this is Cody here. And today in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to downgrade from iOS 11 down to iOS 10. So if you guys did actually install iOS 11 and it's just too buggy for you, it's too laggy or anything like that, then this is gonna be the tutorial that you wanna follow in order to downgrade that back to iOS 10. Now this is actually going to work for any of the betas, so iOS 11 beta 1, 2, 3, 4, or however many they actually release, you can use this process in order to downgrade from iOS 11 back down to 10. So you might wanna save this video for later use as well. Now there's only two firmwares that Apple is signing right now and that's iOS 10.3.2 and iOS 10.3.1. So of course right now with iOS 11, it's really buggy, really laggy. So I know a lot of people are wanting to downgrade back to iOS 10. So let's go ahead and get into the process of how to do just that. So you can see here that I'm on iOS 11. You can see that I don't have any icon labels down there in the dock. If I go into my settings, in general about you can see I'm iOS 11 right there so iPhone 7 iOS 11 the first thing that you want to do is make sure that your device is plugged into your Mac or Windows PC and the next thing that you want to do is make sure that find my iPhone is turned off so you can do that by scrolling all the way up here to the top and then clicking on iCloud and then turning off find my iPhone right here which I have already done now the next thing that you want to do is download the IPSW that you're downgrading to. So you can just go to this website right here. I'll put a link in the description below for you guys. You can just click on and you can see that it has iOS 10.3.2 for every single device right up here at the top. So this is the iPhone 7. So I've already actually downloaded this IPSW for iOS 10.3.2. So all you want to do is just click on that link. It'll start to download. Make sure that you save it in a place that you can uh, refer to because we're going to have to actually point our device to that here shortly. So once you download the IPSW that you need for your particular device, then all you want to do is just launch iTunes. So let's go ahead and do that. And just make sure you click on your phone. So it'll look just like this. And you can click on the phone and it'll bring up your information about your phone. So at this point you can see we have two buttons over here. We have check for update and restore iPhone. We're actually going to use the check for update button. So in order to do this and point our device to the IPSW that we just downloaded, the iOS 10.3.2 IPSW, then what you need to do is just hold down the option key on a Mac and click the check for update. Or if you're on a Windows PC, you just hold down the shift button and click check for update. So I'll go ahead and do that right here. And you can see that it actually launches a finder window here. So we're actually going to use this in order to point it to our iPhone 7 IPSW for 10.3.2. So just find wherever you save that IPSW and then just double click on it. So it says that iTunes will update your iPhone to iOS 10.3.2. So now we're just going to go ahead and click on update and it should go ahead and downgrade our device back to iOS 10.3.2. All right, so you can see that we just got the pop-up that says your iPhone has been updated, and now it should go ahead and complete the downgrading process uh, completely on the iPhone itself. All right, so you can see that it's completed the downgrade. So let's go ahead and just trust the computer. We'll click continue. All right, and you can see right here that we are now back on iOS 10.3.2. You can notice just by seeing that we have uh, all of the icon labels down here in the dock. Let's go ahead and tap on settings. And we scroll down here to general, about, and you can see iOS 10.3.2. All right, guys, that's all you have to do in order to downgrade from iOS 11. Let me know if you guys have any issues in the comments below. Of course, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you want to see more videos on tech, Apple, jailbreak, and iOS 11, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.